wish eating pussy was a little bit more like eating Cheetos. <laughs> I love uh, Austin nightlife. Very cool. Uh, no, it's not really that cool. Austin nightlife for me is me going to Barbarella's, that gay bar down the street, and trying to convince a lesbian that I'm a woman. <laughs> I've never enough for her. Great! You look like you're not allowed to buy lizards in the mail anymore! <laughs> Ray, I feel like you hug your knees to poop. What? I feel like you hug your knees to poop. <laughs> and then you hug my knees, it just falls right out. <laughs> No, I didn't. You close your eyes all the way. Oh, dang, they still big as hell. It's a nice camera. I want you to give uh, your honest feedback, your honest thoughts on the the the, the open uh, the. I the, didn't get the, the tapeworm joke. You know the you know the worst thing about tapeworms? I mean, it's almost never tape. <laughs> Guys, laughing is optional. I want to make that clear. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. You didn't get the tapeworms you, joke. I get like tape. Was that it? You know the worst thing about tapeworms? They hardly ever tape. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke? It's the fuck. It's it's a tape. That they're not tape. Yeah. I don't care. Fuck. All right. What do you think about the rest of the set? What do you think about the audience not responding at certain times or Wesley, when they did respond? I didn't like Wesley. You didn't like Wesley. Yeah. Why not? I didn't like him. Chris, do you want to get in this? What's this for? Uh, I've been Open mic hell? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird way. Yeah. Yeah, and what do you honestly think about Ray Shenaby's stand up comedy? It's great in small, intimate rooms, man. I love, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I was interviewing. We're on a hinge date right now. That's I'm, badass. <laughs> because you, you I just kind of. You got a gem. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I needed the convincing. What was his first What was the first message? He said, What's up? How are you? <laughs> He said, what is your fave dog breed, real talk? <laughs> I guess it worked. That's unreal, Riz. Yeah, it worked. I mean, clearly, yeah, you're on a second date. Yeah, yeah, just because you didn't see my comedy. <laughs> Ray, yeah, if I saw you on Hinge, I would suck your dick. Dude, don't. Especially after I heard Komodo Dragon, I'm like, that guy's a key. I is anyone eating uh, fucking Indian food right now and I just ruined it? Raise your hands if you're eating Indian food in the crowd right now. I will set myself on fire like that fucking monk in Vietnam before I get off the stage if you guys don't fucking get into this shit. <coughs> Can you believe they make me work the door here? I should be the king of Honshu. I should be in the office. I actually got into a car accident with an Indian uh, recently. They didn't have car insurance, but they did have riding on the side of the train insurance. I just wish I crashed into them on a train. <laughs> Uh, I have erectile dysfunction, <laughs> but I'm glad I don't have a reptile dysfunction. That's when you and your wife are a chameleon and you always get in arguments. <laughs> Stop blending into the wall while I'm talking to you, Lois. Stop pointing your eyes everywhere like that. I'm trying to fucking stop rolling your eyes at me. I'm putting so much into this shit. You guys don't even get a fuck. God is with me tonight. Or should I say Allah? Pussy. They hired me to do this at birthday parties. They got uh, three variations of the, the women I look for on Hinge are here right in the front row. Thank God. It's like God is trying to smite me. So we get some ice cream. Or we could go. Would they have spoons, you think? I've got a phobia of plastic spoons. I can oh, figure right. that it's not good. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm not saying that's a normal about that. thing. No, but, no, I, uh, you know, I think that that's real. I think my ear's bleeding. <laughs>
Is it? Yeah, I mean, I think Why? I... Why? Well, I don't know. I think I just have an issue. With your ear? <laughs> it must be from wrestling or something. Do well, you have cauliflower ear? I have cauliflower in my left ear, and I think I had a tiny bit in my right ear, and it's like it, been reignited. It, it must be from fucking wrestling, right? Potentially, or maybe some sort of sex. <laughs> <laughs> some, sort of, some sort of... I'm not counting that, and I've never had sex, so what a scary thing. Hello. Hello, or are you guys clo Do you guys have any ice cream? Ice cream? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I get that? Or can they, the mint? <laughs> yeah. Mint? 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 The green? Yeah, 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 that one, that one. That's not oh, mint. Oh, no, no, oh I actually kind of, no, it's okay. Yeah, 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 that but one. But not three, we don't want three. You know my, um, you're really, you're, you, would you say you're interested in Sharia law? Uh, interested it would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, were you around when that was? I had that joke, the Sharia yeah. law joke. Well, I think I, I think I was around, and I think I didn't know I was around. I saw you do it on Kill Tony on the clips. Really? Well, because I, I ordered fajitas at a TGI Fridays in Afghanistan, and they came out with the severed head of a woman that disobeyed Sharia law. And then you just went to Katy. So did you leave from Austin to Chicago? No, I went. I left from Austin to my mom's in Wisconsin. And then, uh, while I was in Wisconsin, I got asked to open for Duncan Trussell with William. Holy fuck. And I couldn't say no, so I said yes, and probably shouldn't have, but the, it went, the weekend went. It was went. with William? Yeah, it was, was William and Duncan. Was William hyped that you were there? He, he didn't know me. It, it was, once we got to know each other, it was cool. But he just didn't know who I was. And Duncan didn't either, but... The motherfucker in a Subaru oh. Outback just bounced around like that. You see that? That's right. crazy. They have great, I mean, they have all those safety features. It makes you feel too safe. No one should ever feel too safe. Well, everything gets intermingled. This is all true. <laughs> this doesn't sound true, but it's all true. That's crazy. And we can ask the barista. I mean, she, what a, what a lady. I was just uh, going down the hall over there, and I saw that there's speakers in the alleyways that are playing loud classical music. And I'm assuming it's to keep the homeless people from hanging out there, right? All right, it was crazy, I couldn't believe it. But they weren't playing the music loud enough. So if I, I think if the homeless hung out there, they would have just ended up uh, listening to the classical music and developing taste. <laughs> there have just been homeless people next week just Smoking crack with a long candle, you know? <laughs> John C., get me my crack rock, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, you did a good job. Genevieve, so nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> you really need to follow Ray Genevieve on Instagram. You need to come see him at the Sunset Strip, probably the greatest club I've ever been to in my whole life. Costco ball. Did you know there's a magical phobia at Costco? <laughs> <laughs>